Okay, um, we are going to just do some editing of our walls and maybe put some windows in in this tutorial. So let's go to the 3D view. Um, if I press fly mode, I've finally got a mouse now so I can cruise around and 3D explore using my arrow keys um, and the mouse I can cruise around. You can go faster and slower quite easily so if you're as you're in cruise mode you press plus and that will make it go a whole lot faster if you want to slow down just press the minus key and it will go slower you can go as slow as and fast as you want it to right so let's do some editing of these walls because um when i drew the original walls i have drawn some of them around the wrong way and it's quite easy to do that it's quite common so um Let's change some of these walls. So if I was to select that wall over there, I need to put that brick on the other side. So I'll just go right click, wall selection settings, and I just need to swap these two around. So instead of the brick here and bone being there, I need to put that paint on the inside. I might change color and the brick on the other side, and that will just simply swap that around. Now the problem with this wall here, I oh know that one's all right. Sometimes you'll get um, this will be one whole wall, so you need to split it. Oh, this is it. Yeah, this one here. So sometimes you need to split a wall as well so that you might want a different color on one side. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it here. So for this wall here, we, we want to split that where this wall joins um, and by this door because I might want a different color on one side of the wall to the other side. We need to do that in the ground floor. So if we go ground floor, it's this long wall here. I want to put a little split mark in this wall so one side of my wall I can change to a different color if I wanted the room to be a different color. So come up to this top bar, there's split. Um, or you can use Alt plus S and you just need to, it's like an X, click on the wall and it's asking you which way you want to split it, it doesn't really matter. And there we've got it there. Um, it's just split that a little bit awkwardly. this join here so I just need to stretch that wall back out you just click on the node and click it out and it will, it will fix itself so there we go we've got two separate walls now so when I go back to that 3d view I can change that wall wall selection settings I can change that to whatever I like so that one there and we'll go white some really random interior design decisions here going on okay so there we go we've got split wall so you can go through and change all your wall settings and colors um, to the right materials so the second thing this tutorial is uh, putting the windows in so just below the wall tool on the left hand side is window if we double click into that there's heaps of different types of windows just like the doors you can go for whatever creative window you like the trick with the window is the widths and the heights and the distance off the floor so we've got the width of the window up here it's been 1500 and the height being 1500 I'm going to keep that um, like that where people come into difficulty is this measurement here 2100 that's the distance from the ground to the top of the window and that's one that you may need to change if you see that your window is too low or too high. You can simply click those windows in and you can see the preview come up. Um, you can just click them in in the 3D view. You need to click it twice, uh, not just once because if you do it once and then walk away it's not going to work. So you've got to do that twice. Again, you can adjust these afterwards. So you can change them by right click, window selection settings, and you can change the width if you want, and the height, and also that distance off the floor. You can also see them in the 3D view and how they render out. Okay. So that hopefully is probably enough for... Um, windows and how to change your walls.